सदस्य थैंक यू सर दो दो तीन दिन में सर आई एम दी ओनली स्पीकर फॉर माय पार्टी आई ट्राई टू मेक इट फास्ट बट आई डू नीड टू प्रेजेंट आवर व्यूज सर आई राइज टू सपोर्ट द जम्मू एंड कश्मीर रीऑर्गेनाइजेशन बिल एंड आवर लीडर श्री नारा चंद्रबाबू नायडू गारू एंड आवर तेलुगु देशम पार्टी सपोर्ट द प्रपोज रीऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ द स्टेट ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर सर आवर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन हैज थ्री काइंड ऑफ प्रोविजन्स स्पेशल प्रोविजन्स ट्रांजिशनल प्रोविजन्स and temporary provisions temporary provisions are the weakest among the three and 370 being a temporary provision is the weakest one so it has to go for the good of the people of jammu and kashmir sir sir we have no problem in giving special autonomous status or special category status to any state all we want is that such a facility is optimally utilized by that state and to become a growth engine of the country but when it comes to jammu kashmir it is proved to be the other way around and therefore paving the way for this bill sir sir i would be remiss if i did not say that a historical mistake that took place about 70 years ago is now being corrected through this bill sir let's take a take a look at the amount of resources human natural and financial that have been provided to the jammu and kashmir state in the past sir you have given separate constitution for jnk we have given leeway to refuse indian laws to be implemented in jnk we have debarred citizens of other parts of the country either to get admissions or employment or buy land in jnk we have given given special category status to jnk we have given dual citizenship to jnk both indian and kashmiri uh, citizenship we have given lakhs of crores for jnk which have gone down the drain sir and what have we got in return sir we have had to deal with bloodshed and terrorism the tricolor is burnt in jnk and it is not a crime political parties and separatist groups have used and misused article 370 our own kashmiri pandits have been thrown out of kashmir part 4 of the directive principles of state policy and part 4a of the fundamental duties are not applicable in jnk so instead of sticking to the same approach and breaking our heads against the wall the innovative approach taken by the honorable prime minister and the honorable home minister is a laudable one and i hope the tables will turn now this is a new beginning for the region and its people but we need to understand how this bill is going to affect the common kashmiri i have a few thoughts that i would like to share how this bill is going to affect jnk and the country sir sir complete integration of jnk into india we will be one nation with one flag and one constitution sir all laws will be applicable to the citizens equally organizations persons would be able to purchase land in the region for setting up industry and to help gener generate employment which would help improve the standard of living this would in turn lead to improvement in infrastructure facilities across the region the women would have greater freedom to choose whom they wish to marry and not be to to marrying someone from the region in fear of losing their rights and property the security in the region would also increase at the end of the day the resources that are being spent would finally be used for the people of jammu and kashmir and i think everyone will agree this is what we want that the peace and prosperity in the region is restored sir what you have done in jnk is historic how it will be remembered in history however will depend on what happens from today onwards sir many states have got full statehood so instead of making it a state you have split jnk into two union territories the honorable home minister is on record saying in the rajya sabha that as soon as the situation normalizes the jnk would be made as a full fledged state but what is the definition of normalization i would like to know from the home minister please sir secondly what are the economic security law and order infrastructural human rights and other challenges that jnk has been facing and how is government of india going to address them since it is now coming under the center's fold so just two minutes and i'll complete sir and what road map the honorable home minister has prepared may kindly be enlightened to the house has he set any milestones that need to be achieved and the timeline that they need to be achieved in in order to address these challenges there must be a road map to achieve statehood sir this is very important sir you have brought this bill under article 3 of the constitution but look at article 4 of the constitution what does it say 
It says that when any state is bifurcated under Article 3, then supplemental, incidental, and consequential measures can be taken by the Parliament. I'm completing, sir. And we, have e we even have the judgment of the Supreme Court on this. So uh, what I wanted to say is what supplemental, incidental, and consequential measures that the Honorable Home Minister is going to take for J&K is one thing we need to know, sir. Finally, sir, my final appeal is to restore normalcy in J&K at the earliest and to make all efforts to bring confidence to the people of JNK that they can live in, live in peace and with progress, prosperity, and dignity. Thank you, sir.